a very warm welcome everyone topic for today is going to be quality function deployments it's quite an extensive topic uh, and for this reason we cut it into two parts part one and part two. First things first a quality function deployment tool or simply qfd i remember the first time that i heard about it and it confused me somewhat and it had a lot to do with the way it was named qfd or quality function deployment it doesn't really tell you what this tool does if you call it the quality function deployment and that has something to do with the way it was translated from japanese um, it was translated quite literally which led to this i would say a rather poor choice of name if it was up to me but it isn't i would call this a qfd tool simply a design tool for services and products okay so i would call it a design tool for services and products why would i call it like that because that's what it does essentially it's a fantastic great tool that helps you design services and products from the viewpoint of the customer and your capabilities of a business you might say well why would i like to do that trust me in the second part of the of this video you're going to understand why it makes such a great contribution to a successful business if you use this qfd tool at the center of the quality function deployment tool is the so-called house of quality this is the house of quality okay now there's more to qfd than just this house of quality but i would say at the absolute center is the house of quality and hence for this reason it receives the bulk of the attention throughout our course now why is the house of quality called a house of quality well not a big surprise eh? it kind of looks like a house and as with all houses it has multiple spaces in which multiple activities take place multiple functions for instance this part of the house what happens there and who lives there well that is the area for our client wishes or wants so basically here we write down all these requirements for example if they want to have a fast car nice looking car affordable etc so every specification goes actually there okay so this is basically where the client lives and here they we write down what they want so we want to have a fast beautiful cheap car okay now in this part of the house we write down our production factor so these are the things that we control okay we have full control over them what the client wants we cannot control that is an external given but here we have the things that we can control for instance uh budget we can control we can control materials we can control a staff etc okay and these are basically the things that help us achieve the customer wants okay so these are the production factors or the hows that help us achieve the customer wants now in this last part of the house what happens there that is the area for our competitors. That is how we benchmark those characteristics from the client versus what the competitors are offering. Okay, so, so it's you, a benchmark. This is a kind of like a mirror in which we compare ourselves with the uh, other relevant parties in the, in the industry we are active in. One important word of warning that is intended to, to uh, prevent you from getting confused. If you look in textbooks or look online, you will see at least uh, two dozen variations of this house of uh, quality. Some of them might have an extra row here or two extra rows here. Some of them might miss a few rows. Some of them might have an extra column here, or maybe two extra columns. Some of them might miss some columns, okay? So they're going to look slightly different depending on the source. What's the reason? The reason is there's no universal agreement on how it should look like. Um, you can uh, make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but our version, so the version that we are teaching here for you, and contains 
all the most relevant important parts okay so don't worry our version contains all the what we believe are the most relevant what we believe are the most important parts of this house of quality okay now in the second part of this video we're going to actually apply this house of quality um, to a concrete case and this is going to be the outcome of that a lot of numbers a lot of symbols it might uh, you know intimidate you a little bit don't worry it is our job to explain you take you through these uh, symbols and values step by step and we guarantee that you will understand it fully at the end so that's what's going to happen in the second part of the video we have a very very exciting um, case prepared for you and we hope to welcome you to that a second part of the video very very soon but so far uh, thank you very much for your attention and thank you very much for your valuable time thank you thank you